Hey y'all, this is part six, and we're going to be adding an element to the back of an array. So, uh, that's the case. We have an array. We want to add something to the end of it. We're going to use the push method. So here's an example of that without any real context, just an array, and we're going to push another element onto it, and then log that newly added, like newly refurbished, I should say, array to the console. So there's that, and let's also do this with some <clears throat> some variables. And with this one, we could assume that this would be like a an array of the messages received in a certain time frame. So first they said, hey, then maybe the person said, would you like to go somewhere? And the person replied back, sounds good. Then the person said, okay, let's meet there at nine. And then this first person again said, see you then. Uh, let's assume that this person is now telling the person they've been communicating with that they're on their way. So the new message is on my way, and they want to add it to the messages array. So if we do messages.push of the new message, we'll see that the messages array now has that uh, element added. We're going to complete a function that takes in two parameters, an array and an element, adds the element to the end of the array, and returns the array. Your function should use the push method to add the input element to the end of the input array, then return that array. Below are examples of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function, apply push. It might not look exactly like this, and you'll notice that they seem to be putting like a space in between here. Now the issue with defining that explicitly is that this is not 100% the way it always happens. It's somewhat dependent on the console or the replit that you're using. So we're going to leave it as this, but just assume that when we mean this line right here, it's the same as if we had a line that was similar to it, but with a space before the first element. So with that in mind, let's copy our stub. Let's copy our test cases. Oh boy. Okay. Add the element to the back of the array. So that's just push. So array dot push the element and then return the array. Rather straightforward. So let's make sure that the arrays look at least somewhat similar. And they do. Let's copy the function now. And circle gets the square, which I'm not exactly sure that I know what that's from, but I've heard that phrase before being used as like an exclamatory, somewhat similar to we're in good shape. So um, running thin on those, so I might take a break and try to write some of them down before we come back, or we might just go back to saying that we're in good shape. It depends. But in any case, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one.